hi everyone and welcome back to my channel so this is going to be my june favorite so if you want to see what i've been loving both for me and what the kids have been loving as well for the month of june then keep watching <music> So I'm going to get crack a lacking with this video, I've had a bit of a video sort of drought, like I've lost my mojo and this seemed like a really simple one to do. Um, I'm going to start with my favourites because I appreciate that not everyone that watches me has kids and won't be interested in the kiddie bits so I will pop those at the end so when all of my stuff is done you can click off if you'd prefer. So the first favourites I'm going to start with are style related items and I can't not mention these dresses now i found out about these from lucy's um instagram actually so i'll leave lucy's like channel down below if you want to go and like check her out and find her elsewhere but um these are basically really easy summer dresses to wear and the beauty of it is that they are from ebay now depending on how the sellers feel in that day and how sales are going they can range from like seven to eight pounds something like that and i actually have three of them because i'll be honest i'm three months postpartum i'm still in that stage where I don't really know how to dress my body at the moment I've got hang-ups as a lot of people do and these are easy because they like hug my bust they come in at their waist and they float down past my tummy and they're also a really flattering midi length on me and I just I can't get enough this is my favorite one so it's like a lovely blue and white floral patterned one with those like mock tortoiseshell button it has pockets which is always a plus as a mom and I just I can't can't rate them enough the next thing i want to mention is a hat i don't know if i've mentioned this before so i'm sorry if i have but i am quite new to having the confidence to wear hats but this is one that i got last year from warehouse and i've been wearing it so often and every single time i wear it i get a compliment off someone and it's such a nice feeling because you know you always say to yourself don't you oh no i can't wear that i can't pull that off and then i just tried it one day because you know its primary purpose is to shave my eyes from the sun and then ever since i've just thrown it on and i just absolutely love it i love how it like finishes off outfits sometimes i love how it protects my face from the sun and like stops me from squinting all the time because i find that sunglasses sometimes like they annoy the side of my head and give me a headache and sometimes can like smudge off makeup on my nose so this this is just a win you can find loads of them everywhere this is obviously like old season now it's from last year so i won't be able to link it down below but i really recommend them and if there's anything that's like out of your comfort zone give it a try because you might surprise yourself and then the final fashion favorite are these suede mules from asos and i have worn them to death already and i just i uh, love them so much they were only 18 pound and they are this gorgeous like light forest green and i'm just obsessed with them and i'm so glad that i picked them up and i wish they came in more colors so next up is beauty and skincare and it's unusual for me but I've only got two beauty favourites this month and then the rest is skincare so I'll start with beauty and the first thing, oh, I just I don't know if this is new but I've never seen it before and it's the Benefit Gold Rush blush and it is just perfect for this time of year every single time i've done my makeup for the last well month or so i've been wearing this got it on today and it gives you you know that flush of color on your skin when you've got a tan and you just come back from holiday and you're always quite glowy all the time this is like that that blush to the cheek color it has like a bit of golden shimmer running through it and it is a very lovely corally peachy pink uh, like nothing that i've ever actually owned before and i have just not stopped using it my only dislike is that it smells like old ladies perfume i just don't i don't see the need for it to smell especially when some people have sensitive skin and that could cause an irritant so like i kind of wish benefit would stop doing that so it would open it up to a few more people but if you don't have any issues like me wow i love this so much now the next favorite is one that kind of annoys me that it's my favorite because it's not cheap and i bought it in the sale which is why i own it and i wouldn't normally pay this money for this unless it was like a present for myself say if i had like birthday or christmas money for example but it's the charlotte tilbury legendary muse luxury eye palette i don't know if legendary muse was actually limited edition as well but i have just I find it like a perfect summer palette for me and I've ignored the instructions that came with it my friend and I've basically been putting this 
browny champagne colour through my crease and then the goldy colour over my lid and then sometimes I'll add a bit of definition with this darker colour up here and I just love it. I wore it every single time on holiday. I've worn it pretty much every single day. If you are looking for like a very wearable easy palette then like Charlotte Tilbury does some brilliant ones but like I said before they are in the treat category. Now let's get on to some more affordable stuff. If you follow me for any length of time, you might know that like Mark and I are trying to save up for an extension on our house at the moment because, well, Stanley doesn't have a bedroom and that's <laughs> that's kind of a, you know, a big thing that we're working towards because ideally we'd like all the children to have their own bedrooms while they grow up. Now there's no rush, but we are trying to cut back on a lot of things. I also think that it's really good for me to re-evaluate what I'm spending anyway. Like I don't need to buy high-end bits all the time. I get sucked into, you know, what's rated on Instagram and YouTube all the time, especially because of what I do. And I think, you know what, there are lots of things that are much more affordable that I really really rate and I wanted to mix things up a bit so I love the Liz Earl hot cloth cleanser I've loved it for years but it is pricey for what it is and I go through it quite quickly so I remember trying this years ago when I was well like a single mum and I didn't have much money at all and it was the um super drug naturally radiant brightening hot cloth cleanser and I didn't rate it that much at the time but I, I swear they've changed the formulation to this a little bit. But this is normal to dry skin because I have had quite dry skin ha after having Stanley. And I really like it. It comes with a cloth. I would advise that you get yourself some cheap flannels off like eBay or Ikea or somewhere. And use a fresh flannel every day to make sure that your skin is extra clean. And you're not transferring dirt and bacteria back into your face if you use the same one all the time. But this is really good. I really recommend it. And I'm going to keep pitching it for the foreseeable future. And then next up is this and it's the Body Shop Tea Tree Skin Clearing Facial Wash. Now I recently started Zumba about seven, eight weeks ago now. I'm absolutely loving it. I think it's the best thing ever and it's really helping like loosen up my joints and stuff and help me get fitter. But what I've noticed when I exercise I get like exercise sweat breakouts which and I know what they are because I've experienced them in the past. I also get them on the backs of my arms as well where you get like blocked um, pores from like sweating and stuff and what I've been doing in after Zumba I have a shower and I wash my face with this and I also do the backs of my arms as well and it's made a massive difference. It is quite drying and you need to be wary of that so make sure you use a good moisturiser afterwards but I really recommend it if you're after like a you know, a clearing, purifying facial wash that isn't really, really, really expensive. Next up, this is nearly empty and oh my word, I love it so much. That sounded like, oh my gosh, look at her butt. Oh my gosh, look at this deodorant because it's blimmin' brilliant. Actually, it's an antiperspirant, I correct myself. But it's the Shaw Maximum Protection Antiperspirant. I wear the shade Confidence, I think. It smells really nice and um, it basically is a cream one so you twist and swipe and oh my goodness why have I not tried this sooner. Every single time I looked at it I've been slightly wary of the cost because uh, it is probably on the higher side of things. I would say it's probably only like a fiver or something but now I've got it I understand why. A it lasts for ages and B I do not sweat when I'm wearing it and I did worry that it would maybe block my pores under my armpits or cause any discomfort. I've had no irritation whatsoever and I just think it's great like especially for the summer months you know when you say at a wedding or a barbecue and you're wearing a nice dress but you don't want sweat patches and you don't want to feel uncomfortable like it's it's a godsend so you really need to check it out. So now on to a random favourite. The first one is this. And this is the Waitrose Mini Laundry Cleanser. It's dermologically tested, kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria, and it does 14 standard washes. So you might have seen the Dettol version of this, which is a lot more expensive. And I just picked this up because we had threadworms in this house recently, and I have washed every single thing I can put my hands on. And it just gave me a lot of comfort. Can't say any more than that. Also on that theme is this, and it's the Dettol All-in-One Disinfectant Spray. It was on offer at the moment very perfectly timed for the uh, threadworms outbreak in my house and it's great for like spraying surfaces freshening up the air but also like I used it on like sofas and things like that that I couldn't like wash as easily and I'm just really really relieved that I've got it. Now I'm really excited about this next one because my friend Suzanne told me about these and you basically download it to your phone and you can connect up to your social media or any of the photos that are on your phone and then you print them all and you print them for free and you just pay for postage and like I, I take so many beautiful photos of my kids that I absolutely adore and then 
I never print them off and they just like disappear into the online world so I've got so many cute ones here that I can either put into albums or put into frames or like hang on the wall with little pegs and stuff and I just you know if you're like me and you're not doing this enough do it download the app because it's so worth it and it's such a clever idea and then finally on the entertainment side of things is this and this is a travel rummy cub set. Mark and I played this every single night when we were on holiday when the kids were in bed on the balcony with a rum and coke all three. And it was just so nice to go old school and connect and chat while playing this. It's a bit competitive. You can still do it when you're a bit tipsy. And we just had a giggle so much so that when we got back, he asked if we could like recreate our balcony times at home. So now on Saturday nights, we are either playing this with a drink or we actually bought Scrabble as well to do together but I know that it sounds sad but technology is fantastic like it's my job but it's so damaging to a lot of really really brilliant real life relationships and I can't recommend switching off enough I really really can't and then I can't do this video obviously on the opposite end of the spectrum without mentioning Love Island because it's just the best thing ever I've watched every single series and I'm just hooked and that's all I've got to say so now on to kids favourites and the first thing I want to talk about and I'm actually really, I uh, love these so much and I'm so pleased I've got them, are these and I actually had these on my list to buy Stan when I saw them on Mrs Meldrum's channel and she has them for baby puppy who like absolutely adores them and they are yummy rings and they are made with stainless steel and they've got little silicone beads here and just as I was like thinking of buying them after holiday I got an email from the owner and she was like I'd love it if you would like to try them and let me know what you think and we also have a set of yummy keys as well for when he gets older and it was all designed with the idea that like babies love keys don't they they're jingly they're jangly they're not letters they're not supposed to have them but these are like much safer for them to use and designed for them to use and because Stan's like just learning how to use his grasp and stuff he loves them and he's like sticking them in his mouth and we've been taking them everywhere with us and I really wanted to mention them because it's an innovative idea and it's from a small business from a mum who gets it and I just I'm really pleased that we've got them. The next favourite is a Daisy favourite and it's these Mamiya Easy Pants and in fact I also really love the Pampers ones as well but we've run out and I picked these up when I did an Aldi run the other day because I was in there and I wanted some more and you can wear them day and night and you get 20 in a pack and she's in the size 5 ones and I just think they are so handy we're trying to get to that stage where we potty train her now and what is really great about these little story I left one of these out the other day in a dress while I was going to go and get it ready basically with a packet of wipes and she was playing with Bill in his bedroom so I thought right I'm going to take the opportunity to have a quick shower instead and by the time I came out I went into her bedroom and she was standing there and she put one of these on herself and taken her old nappy off and even tried to wipe herself bless her thank god it wasn't a poo and she'd also put her dress on and needed help with the buttons at the back but it just sort of hit me that she was growing up but it was also amazing that she felt she had that independence so if you're thinking about that I can't recommend them enough because I think they're a really clever idea and they're much easier when they're this size as well. Another kid favourite is this and it's the Waitrose Woodland Friends Detangle Spray and it was just a cheaper version of other detangling sprays you can get like the L'Oreal one but what I really like about it is that it has natural head lice repellent in as well. So I've been using it on Daisy's hair because she's got quite curly hair and it does a really good job and it smells like strawberries and raspberries and I've also been putting it on Bill's hair just because we've had thread worms and I don't really want to go down the knits head lice route just yet I don't think I could cope <laughs> so yeah I just thought I would give you a shout out I'm sure that other stores do similar ones but it was just the head lice repellent that sold me now the last two things are entertainment favorites for Bill and Daisy really and the first one are Jurassic World toys it was Bill's sixth birthday recently and we got him quite a few toys from the Jurassic it willed I don't know collection if you will and my brother and auntie Nikki got got him this and it is a big t-rex that like when you press his foot he roars and when you wiggle his tail like you can move his head and he roars and stuff and opens his mouth rah, rah, rah. Um, very exciting but both kids are really into dinosaurs at the moment and have not stopped playing with them since it was Bill's birthday so I just thought I would give you a shout out they're so well made and they've just been used non-stop and if you've got a dinosaur for Fan. I would definitely get these on the birthday and Christmas list. And then finally, are these 
Who remembers these? I never had them as a kid. I really wanted them, but they are sea monkeys. And I have to be very careful because if I spilt this on myself, I think I would, my soul would die because, ugh. But they're like little tiny, tiny fishy things. I don't even know what they are to be honest, but they come in a set with this and then three little sachets. And you put one in first, which is like a water cleanser. Then you put the other one, in which is like eggs and then after a few days they hatch and you can feed them and they are real like they're real little moving bug things and the kids are obsessed with them and they were really really fun and they like last a long time and you can observe them and it's just been really interesting for our family to do so I can recommend them as well. So that is the end of our team favourites. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I really really like doing these actually because if I'm ever stuck for something then I know it's like an easy thing to talk about. If you don't mind, if you've got any suggestions for videos, would you leave them down below for me? Because I am having a bit of a crisis of confidence, like I said, and I could really do with some inspiration. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day, whatever you're up to, and I'll see you next time. Bye.